First name, last name, and where you're from. Uh, Steve Phillips from Shelby Township, Michigan. My question is, I love the idea of the story, but I have no idea where to put it or what to put it. I'm thinking my Facebook audience go, I don't want to see that story out. And maybe it's my own mind saying this, but where's the best way to put your story out so you can actually have some traction against the footage? That is a great question. Can I ask you a couple questions, Steve? Absolutely. Why are you, well, you're, so you're a realtor? Yes. Do you do mostly residential? Correct. Okay. Why are you a realtor? The big reason why we lost our home is when the market crashed last time, and I don't want to go through that again. I've been through it for the painful process here. That's what started it in my life. And are you telling that story anywhere right now? Does that exist? Do you know that? Not main public, mainstream, no. Do you think that that would be a compelling story to someone who has either lost them in the past or knows someone who has and looking for the person to help them? Yes. So the way that you can tell that story is going to look differently in a lot of different places. As you said, your Facebook bio is going to be very short. Um, what would you say is your purpose statement? Rephrase. Are you... Are you would it be fair to say something like, I want to help you find a home that's going to be yours to love and keep forever? Or something that sort of hits on that idea of you never want somebody else to go through what you went through? Yeah. Okay, so getting something that short and that concise to say uh, as that like bio is, is all you need to do in something like your Instagram bio or your Facebook bio. And then when people go to the about you section of your website, or they go to the about you on Facebook, or they click to watch a video that you have, that's when you can get deeper into your story. And you can say, you know, hey, I'm Steve, and I wasn't always in real estate. In fact, I got into real estate 10 years ago when something unthinkable happened. In 2000, whatever, the next like when you get into your story, and we say, so there are lots of people who can sell you a house. What I'm going to do is help you find the right house and make sure that it's one that you can afford and you have a plan to make sure that this is your home forever. And I'm going to be here for you to help you every step along the way. Because what I didn't know when I bought that house was X, Y, Z. And you're going to, every single person, whether you've never bought a home before or you've bought five, is going to have the benefit of everything that I've learned and everything I wish I knew so that you never have to go through what I went through. So that would be a biotech section you're talking about? Yep. Yeah, so that would be the about you. You could record, you could do that as a video. Um, you could do that um, as a bio, like writing the text of the bio. And what you really then get at uh, is like your purpose your reason. And if your purpose and your reason, the thing that's driving you is that you want to make sure that people don't buy more house than they can afford or don't agree to some terms that they're not going to be able to meet if things go south, like that's your differentiator. That's your superpower. And somebody who hasn't been through the things that you've been through and doesn't have that background doesn't have that same superpower. They can't tell that same story. They don't have that differentiator. So somebody who has somebody who is afraid of that happening to them or who has been through that in the past is absolutely going to gravitate to you versus somebody who doesn't have that experience. Does that mean somebody else who isn't looking for that is going to be turned away? Of course not, right? Because of course people are going to say somebody can do different things. But having that be able to tell that in a compelling way, whether it's the 10 word version or the 2000 word version, is all part of who you are. And once you have that clarity of vision and clarity of purpose, that helps inform some of the content that you share. So if, you know, let's say it's like a one degree connection from the little bit that you share to the idea of financial stability, maybe some of the content that you share that has nothing to do with housing is like how much you should be saving for retirement and like what to do for your kids 529 now. And how much to put back to make sure you're okay. And oh, by the way, do you know about this cool app that can save you on your subscription services? Because every little bit that you're overpaying is money that you don't have to pay down your mortgage faster. And oh, by the way, did you know if you pay an extra hundred dollars a month, you can pay off your loan whatever faster? Like all of those things that maybe on the surface you'd be like, that doesn't have anything to do with buying a house, but it does because it's serving that same customer and that same audience and it's giving them a reason. They'll follow you and be engaged with you after they have their house. 
because now you know that that same need that they have can be met in a bunch of other ways. Jeff just looked at his watch. I'm sorry. I'll wrap it up. I'll wrap it up. <laughs> sorry, Steve. That was a lot, but hopefully that was helpful. I was going to say, if we had to end, we could end on that. <laughs> but we don't have to end, so you're doing just fine. No, that was great. And I hope you took a lot of mental notes there. Uh, and it's interesting, yesterday we talked about, just briefly from the stage with, with our other keynote, Jeff, how, uh, and his message was being for something, and what was, what, where I was connecting the dots with everything you were just saying was, we talked about how Domino's is advertising, telling people to not to use the delivery services, but to go, if you're not gonna order pizza from us, go to local businesses, and that's a perfect example of how they're wanting to be known for something that actually has nothing to do with selling pizza. Right? So that was really cool to see. Thank you.